Hello everyone, let's talk about a product you should always have in your scrapbook, stamps. You can make cards with them, backgrounds for layouts, or even cut them out and create your own die cuts. They are essential for any project and as soon as you start using them, you will see that you can never have enough of them. So let's see what types of stamps there are and how to use them. Clear stamps are the most used ones. Made of acrylic or photopolymer, you can't tell the difference between them at first. But the photopolymer ones have a higher quality and are more long-lasting. To use the stamps, you need a stamping block like this one. Just stick the stamp to the block like this to create a holder that helps you. Now put ink on the stamp. The best way to do it is to grab the ink and apply it to the stamp and not the other way around. By doing this, you make sure that you are covering the whole stamp with ink and also you are avoiding staining the block. Stamp applying pressure as uniformly as possible to get the neatest design. As they are transparent, you can see the exact place you are stamping. Besides, as they are so thin, you can store many more in less space. You can find many designs, from very small drawings to much larger stamps perfect for backgrounds. And you can even play several stamps to stamp them at the same time. To stamp with clear stamps, you can also use a stamping platform. With this tool, you can attach the paper with magnets and place the stamp into a transparent plate. This way, you can stamp the stamp several times in the same place, achieving a perfect result. Another type of stamp widely used in scrapbooking is the rubber stamp. They are made of a much more resistant material than the previous ones, and they provide a lot of definition. You will see that especially in the small details. Although you can use the drawing as a guide, it is more difficult to see exactly where you are stamping. A stamping block is also needed to stamp them. Fix the stamp to the block on the drawn inside. Gooden stamps are rubber stamps, but attached to a wooden support. Therefore, you don't need a stamping block, they already come with a support. Stamp with them in the same way as with the previous ones. The drawing is printed on the good, so you can't be as precise as with a clear stamp when stamping with them. These stamps are so beautiful that they are not only useful for stamping, but also for decoration. Let's move on to roller stamps. By turning the little wheels, you can choose the image you want, which can be a date or a phrase, as in this one. They are great for stamping on planners or adding a little detail to your projects. They are not very precise because, as with the previous ones, you can't see the exact place to stamp. But as you are working on such small text, it is easier to achieve a good result. Apart from all these types of stamps, there is the possibility of creating your own designs by carving stamps. First, Transfer the design to a rubber block, like this one. Then, remove the negative part of the design with a gouge. Finally, you can attach it to a wooden support. Something important to remember about stamps is to clean them after every use if you want them to be in good conditions for a long time. You can clean them with wipes, with baby wipes, but it's much more sustainable if you use one of the following products. You can use, for example, the Shami stamp cleaner. When dry, it looks stiff, but if you wet it with water, it will soften and clean the stamp perfectly. When you finish cleaning, store it in this box to use it again the next time you need it. This way, there is no waste. And you can also use a stamp cleaning pad. Inside the box, there are two mats. Apply the stamp cleaning spray on one of them and wrap the stained stamp on it until it is clean. Then rub it through the other mat to dry it. And so your stamp will be clean and perfect for the next use. 
but don't become obsessed with making your stamps look as good as new. You may see some ink in your stamp, but it may be because it has been dyed, but actually it is clean. You can do a test after cleaning it to see if it is still dirty or not. If there is no color in the paper, it is not necessary to rub it anymore because an excess of cleaning could be even damage this stamp. We hope this video has helped you to know more about stamps, how to use them and how to take care of them. Let us know in the comments which are your favorites or if you have tried any of the cleaning methods we show you. See you in the next video!